first quarter is always a loss making quarter for our business. This year the loss was slightly larger than last year and it was explained by the following reason. In the only way we can make sort of income in the first quarter is if we sell carry over inventory from previous financial year that we have left at the year end in the stock with a profit. Last year in 2012 we managed to do it because the prices were going up for grains in the first quarter. This year we did not have a profit but instead we managed to sell the grains at the same price at which they were recorded at the year end because the commodity prices were coming down during the first quarter. So this explains why the EBITDA loss is larger than what we had in the previous uh, uh, financial year in the first quarter. Additionally, we also had an extraordinary item in the first quarter which was related to the Swedish and uh, uh, krona and euro exchange rate as we have borrowings in Swedish krones in the bonds as the exchange, uh, uh, a Swedish krona strengthened against the euro this gave us additional non-monetary financial expenses uh, but now it looks like that this might be actually coming back with a, with a positive uh, uh, figure so it will be improving our profits in the second quarter because the Swedish krona in the second quarter has so far been weakening against the euro. These were the only items which uh, influenced the first quarter and therefore the sort of the first quarter um, EBITDA and net loss is slightly larger than last year. Additionally, if you look at the first quarter, you'll see that the operating expenses show up as much larger than last year. This is not because of cost inflation for the first quarter this year, but it is because of the timing how we do the fieldworks. If we start the fieldworks earlier, we incur the expenses earlier, we record them earlier, but that then compensates into lower expenses in the quarters going forward, which has been the case for this year. So far the crops are looking very good. Uh, we had no winter kills uh, of the winter crops, which is winter wheat and winter rapeseed, roughly 50% of our total planted area. This has never been the case in our history and also the plants are looking quite strong right now. So we have a very positive outlook for the upcoming harvest for the early crops. For the later crops, the spring seeding has now been completed. We got enough humidity in all the areas to complete the spring uh, crop seeding. So this is corn, sunflower and soya but it's a little bit too early to comment on the harvest outlook as the seeds have only been going into the ground. We are launching the first irrigation pilot in Rostov in Russia next week. Uh, the first four pivots have already been installed and uh, they will start to sprinkle water starting from the middle of next week for 270 hectares. Uh, in parallel, we are working together with US uh, sort of world leading uh, engineers and the local Russian construction company to design a larger technical solution for the large irrigation project which can be built in stages so it is possible to build we believe up to 40,000 hectares of irrigated land uh, in Rostov region um, but it can be done in stages and steps of let's say we can start with as few as as little as few hundred hectares or we can put into several thousand hectares in one year in irrigation depending on how we get uh, sort of the financing uh, lined up. In terms of financing discussions, there have been a lot of very positive initial discussions at the moment. And on the back of that, we believe that the financing will be available in, from the partners to co-invest with us into the Rostov irrigation. So it's more uh, down to the technical work being completed right now, which would then allow us to start getting more concrete with the financing uh, partners in, in the negotiations and discussions. On our liquidity position, we have completed the spring's uh, seeding. We have paid for all of the seeding. And in fact, already in three weeks from now, we'll start the harvesting in the southern parts of Russian cluster in Rostov. Um, this means that we have, or, um, uh, all for the upcoming season, we have done all the working capital investments that are needed. And the new harvest coming in, which will allow, will allow us to start releasing the money currently tied up in the, in the fields. Uh, we have also concrete, uh, concluded forward sales contracts for the early crops, which is wheat and uh, rapeseed. And if we look at the total volumes of these early contracts, uh, this roughly represents at the moment for, for the early crops, we have sold roughly 23 million euros worth of crop already forward at prices which were equal to or even above last year's levels. This will give us in the next uh, couple of months, will give us more than enough liquidity to sort of have the working capital covered up until the next spring seeding season. So short-term liquidity, we have sort of, we are very solid. It's, it, it's uh, sort of steadily in place. Uh, on in terms of the longer term outlook for liquidity, we have two uh, initiatives going on right now. One is that a disposal of non-core assets. The non-core assets we believe will give us enough proceeds from sales so we could pay down the entire debt that we have on Trigon agri level. 
So the borrowings could go to zero after the, uh, we have received uh, the, the money from the disposing of the non-core assets and uh, we believe that we will be able to actually s s give uh, already in the next couple of quarters some very good further announcements on the, on the disposal program. And in parallel, we can work with the partners to finance the irrigation investments in Rostov. The important thing is that the irrigation in Rostov can be built up in stages. So if we can't find partners immediately for very large investments, we can take our time and gradually build up the irrigation subject to how we can get the financing agreements in place with the partners. So uh, we believe we are very solid uh, sort of imp uh, on the ground with two feet uh, for both the short-term liquidity and also for longer-term financing needs of the investments.